Alright, 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 alright. I just beat this game. Yike. Not even an hour ago. Yike. Half an hour ago. And I gotta talk about it. And, um, not the people I know. Uh, the people I know, uh, haven't played the game. And, or they're not online to discuss it. And I really have to get my voice out though. Due to how epic this game is. And I'm like, oh, why not the, why not the internet? The best place. I'm just gonna do this in one take because I don't care. And welcome. Uh, subscribe if you want. I'll probably make more reviews, and they're probably gonna be as dumb like this. Look at the JPEG. The JPEG is quite amazing. I know. Now let's go on back to the good old amazing juices of this game. <clears throat> hmm, where to start? Actually, uh, uh gameplay. The gameplay I really like, uh, due to, um, how sim it is pretty simple, the gameplay is, but due to how many mechanics they add, the gimmicks, uh, yeah, like the torrent sections, the torrent sections, um, I don't usually like torrent sections in games, but in this game, it's, it's decent, well, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it, and I like the stealth in. Uh, the stealth in the game is it, it, it's nice, and though most of it does ways to you know tilt the uh, Tico or whatever to distract and then you move yada yada yada. And uh, due to I please I like that uh, they knew that uh it was kind of lacking in the gameplay department, so they at, so they made it very dramatic. Every single hit you do uh, changes the camera angle. And when you finish an enemy by pressing square, it shows like a close up of the guy's face. As you know, you just punch him in the face with, with your staff. And um, they have the crowd. The crowd was really nice. Uh, the music that played during, uh, during the crowd part, uh, well, the first time you get on the crowd is amazing. I'll get to the music later. But the gameplay. Um, I like how dramatic it was. The second, the second half was really good with, with gameplay, mainly due to um, unlocking new mechanics by getting orbs and collecting all of them. So you have more mechanics that are open up to you due to buying them. Now, I'll read the story for last because I do want to get deep into that. But uh, the next part, I do want to talk about the technical issues I have with the game, which are the negatives. The negatives I had were basically all uh, technical ones with like windowing. There's a lot of uh, windowing issues in this game. Yeah, well, yeah, you'll be like even doing doing cutscenes. It was so like so, uh, like it focusing on something, and it won't even be windowed yet. Until I and then it comes in midway during the cutscene, which was like kind of heh, but it but the game is playable. I had some flame drops, but um, I, I only had like a few of them, and they were at like the second to last chapter in the game. Then the rest of the game, I didn't have flame drops, and um, there were there were long road times, like, like pretty long. Yeah, like 20 seconds, 40 seconds, maybe more, but something around now, like, they're pretty long. And I should make it clear, I played the PS3 version. I didn't play the PC Platinum version. I really hope that they fix the technical issues I have with the game that I had with it in the PC version. Or at least, like, some kind of patch you can install and mod in. Because this game I definitely recommend, but uh, due to uh, the technical issues, I understand why someone wouldn't go through the game from the beginning for the second half. Because it can put you off due to the windowing. Because, my god, this game is so beautiful, but due to the windowing, uh, most of the time, uh, half the time, yeah, you, you can't appreciate it fully due to the windowing. You know the game is very pretty, and I absolutely is like gorgeous. Even on the PS3, it's gorgeous. But it's still it's still positive, still positive. 
Now the music, the music I really love and it really fits, but due to the uh due to like those half the game, there's almost no music. There's almost no music playing during the game, uh, except very few times, which can be seen as a as a negative or a positive, due to yeah, like, every single time music is put into the game, it's very impactful, and it has like a true meaning behind why it's playing, and it usually goes along with the theme of what's going on, and as I listened to the soundtrack yeah, like yeah, like ten minutes ago. Even the titles of the soundtracks are based on that on the events that happen. Yeah, like, uh, catching a dragonfly uh, has its own theme song, and it only appeals to that one event. And I said there's only twenty songs of this whole game, and so that, yeah, there was there's not much, but due to but each each song is a banal, absolutely great. Now to the writing. Hmm. I guess I'll combine characters and the story together. Well, this is obviously based off the, you know, the Journey to the West, which I don't know. I haven't read Journey to the West because I'm not. I'm not much of a fan of Chinese literature. But I watched like a twenty-minute simplified video about the journey to the West, and you know, I I know my Dragon Ball Z. I I know my Dragon Ball. You know, and I and uh, got up high school. But I'm getting sidetracked. The story, I really like. There was there was no real antagonist except the pyramid, but even then, is like it's not like you. There's not like an individual who is the villain. It does, you know, bots, yo, fight the bots, you live in this crappy world, which is in the future, and it's just full of mechs, for some reason, and you just, you know, fight them off. And, you two characters, Monkey and Trip, are really, are really good, and I really like how things are really rough for interpretation, even, especially the ending is rough for interpretation. Yeah, like one of the first uh, cutscenes is talking about a small ecosystem of Trope and Monkey discuss on, you know, this fish tank with a small ecosystem. They don't have to worry about things. They just stay in their own bubble. Monkey think that's a bad thing as Trope uh, think that's a positive because she lives in a small ecosystem they don't have to go uh, go into this world they don't even have to worry about it as a monkey is someone who lived almost all their life um, in the wild and and fended for themselves and both of them you know uh, hate each other but they have to work together due to um, mutual differences and have the same goals and they, you know, they grow to like each other, yada yada yada. And um, the nettle character that's added is Piggy. Uh, and I really like Piggy, though I can understand why someone would not like him due to, you know, how he can be kind of a, a bashful at times and being a comedic relief. Com comedic relief kills are, are usually hit or miss for people. But. He, I thought all his jokes were like pretty funny and made me like crack up sometimes. I never thought like a dick joke would make me laugh, but it did. I can't believe I, I laughed at the good old haha -ha dick jokes. And now let's get to the ending. My god, the ending is so beautiful. It makes it makes sense, it's built up, and it was nicely aligned, and it makes sense on how it is, and I guess uh, this is spoiled te territory now, so uh, yeah, get out of here, just get out. <laughs> um, oh wait, 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 
before you leave, uh, I will say this game is like a like a six point eight out out of ten for the PS3 version. If it wasn't for the technical issues, this game would be a seven point five or an eight out of ten. It's it's great. All right, good. Are you still there? Be, or you're not here? Okay, whatever. Now we're going back to telling about the ending. The ending. Um, the fourth wall broken and every day is just a simulation. They really did a good tone of plot and they really discussed like, oh, did, uh, yeah, oh, is, is what the pyramid doing good or bad? Of, you know, really to trying to ex escapism. Of trying to escape from the dreadful world that they're in. And, you know, enjoy their lives in this nice world that, um, well, old world, the old world that, it, that it's in. Instead of now. And just have to live their whole lives like that, I guess. As, uh, Trump, you know, killed the old dude. And then it ends asking if she did the right thing. And it faced the black with... I like how ambiguous it is, how how ambiguous it is of how I lost my train of thought. Oh, never mind. I figured it out. I like how ambiguous it is on how to figure out, you know, if you agree with uh, the pyramid doings and deeds and tropes, and it goes back to the ecosystem I talked about, because. It's ironic that Torp is totally against the pyramids. You know, the first chapter, the, the first cutscene I just talked about with the fish tank, that she lives in a small bubble and ignores the world. As Monkey is all for, you know, the wilderness and just trying to survive. But, um, Monkey was more appealed to living into that world when putting on the mask. As Torp, as not trope, tip, trip, um, was more, was highly against it and stopped and, you know, killed the old guy off and ended the pyramid. And how ambiguous it is, it's good enough, well, it's good, well, if there was no sequel, it, it would, it's still a good ending, and it's up to interpretation on if it's good or not. Not good or not, of what happened to the characters, was the deeds battle good, what happened after the events of the ending, etc, etc. And then, if there was a sequel, they can still go off of, oh, this is what they did after this. They're like, I don't know, did they go make a new village? Yeah, like, what are they doing? Are they just drifters? Uh, is those silly like, pyramid people? Is it, like, what happened? We don't know. And that's the end of my rant. Um, I know how unorganized this was. And how maybe kind of trashy this is. Because I'm using just my $10 like, head, head, headphones for this. And not my actual gaming headset. That has like a legitimate mic or whatever. But I really just want to make this rant. And see how this goes. And I'll probably make more rants maybe. But... I just want to spread this, the world out of this game and if people who also played this game recently, they can just hear me rant and, you know, we can be homies. If you make comments, I'll, I'll probably reply to them or, I, or I'll at least like them to know that I saw it. But give that like, constructive feedback or criticism like, if I said like, tune the audio or something. But... I'm going to end this here. Thank you uh, for uh, staying here. See ya.